Hello, friend. I've got something I'd like to share with you. The story is told of a family back in the pioneer days of our country that decided they were going to move west. The father uh, bought some land and went out to survey the land to figure out just how they wanted to lay things out. Uh, once he had his plan laid out, he got a piece of paper and he drew exactly where he wanted the house and exactly where he wanted the well and where he wanted the barn to be. He brought that back east uh, and, and showed it to his sons and, and sent them back to the land and said, you need to build the well and here's where you need to build it. You need to build the barn and here's where you need to build it. And here's where you need to put the house. The sons went out west to the property and they looked and when they got there and they said, oh, dad picked out the perfect place for the well. And, and there they dug the well. And they finished that and looked at the map again and said, oh, that dad really picked out the right place to build the barn. And there they built the barn. But when it came time for the house, they looked at dad's map and they said, no, the house shouldn't go, the house should go over here instead. And so they built the house in a different place than their father had laid out. Now the question I ask you is were they obeying their father or were they merely agreeing with the father? And when there came to be difference between them, they did what they wanted instead of what he asked them to do. You know, Jesus said in John chapter 14, verse 15, if you love me, keep my commandments. You see, the love that we have for Him causes us to strive to do what He said, even though sometimes we may not agree with it. We may not understand why it is we're doing what He told us to do. But if you love me, Jesus said, do it anyways. Keep my commandments. He also said in Luke chapter 6, verse 46, Why do you call me Lord, Lord, and not do the things which I say? You know, that word Lord means master, the one that I obey. Why do we call Jesus our master, the one whom we obey, and don't do what he says? That's the height of hypocrisy. So how do we make this a part of our lives? Well, we need to understand that we need to obey first. If we don't understand why we're doing something, do it anyways. Now, clearly we need to open up God's Word, study, more and, and try to understand what it is He would have us to do. We all need to strive to have the mind of Christ. We need to be of one mind and that be His mind. But in the meantime, when we yet don't understand everything exactly, we need to obey anyways. We likewise need to make sure that we don't confuse obedience and agreement. You see, obedience and agreement look very, very similar at first. And if you were looking from the outside, those two young men, when they were building things as their father had asked them to do, uh, two-thirds of the way through, she was, oh, obedience and, and agreement, they would look the same. But when things are different, when things are difficult, when maybe we don't agree and see the reason, that's when obedience is really seen. It's always easy to obey, to do the things, when you agree, but when you don't, that's the sign of true obedience. Friend, I've shared this with you. Why don't you share this with somebody yourself?